if you try to copy someone, yes. you fall short, you should change yourself. Mm -hmm. And we need to appreciate that, that when God called each and every one of us, he called us for a purpose and he called us to a particular risk. Not a race we must run, not we. It is I, I must run. I Very good evening to you from wherever you're joining us from this evening. This is Hope TV where you look and live and Hope FM where you listen and live. Thank you so much for joining us on the Overflow Show. This is where you live your life in abundance. My name is Favored Frank and welcome so much to today's episode of the Overflow Show. And last week we had begun our conversation on self-love, that is self-care, and we had um, Daktari uh, you know, James Carroll share a lot of insights and wisdom on how we can, you know, cultivate the attitude of having to love ourselves. And today, we just want to ha continue with the same conversation because we had talked of self-awareness, self-acceptance, and then we talked of uh, self-affirmation. And there is some, one more thing he left out. And tonight, we're going to be finishing. Dr. Harry, how are you? Yes, Frank. I'm very you're, fine. You're well? Yeah. Well. How has been the going? The going has been fine. Good to see you again. And good to be back to the studio. Yeah. Mm. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So there is uh, somebody who is watching us. Mm. And um, maybe we could just do a little bit of your introduction. Mm. Maybe for the new audience we are having mm. tonight. My name is Dr. James Carroll. Mm -hmm. I am a lecturer at Machakos University. Beside many other things. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that we have this show. I'm born again. Yes. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm married. I have yeah. children. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, great. And uh, you, we had begun a conversation last week mm. about uh, self-care. Mm. Would you just do a little bit of a uh, recap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Self-care is very, very important. Connecting with yourself, mm -hmm. loving yourself. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 22, mm -hmm. from verse 36 to 40, yes. when Christ was asked by Pharisees, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Mm -hmm. And he summarized in two commandments. Yes. And he said that the greatest commandment mm -hmm. is one, love your God with all your soul, with all your heart, and with all your mind. Mm -hmm. And then he says that the, the second greatest is like the first one, yes. that love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. And you are coming from the point of you can only love other people to the extent that you love yourself. Yes. And therefore, mm -hmm. self-love is very critical, loving yourself, being in touch with yourself, understanding who you are, mm -hmm. who God created you to be, and occupying that space and celebrating that because many times mm -hmm. we fall short of who we are. Okay. One, because we are ignorant of who we are. That I'm not aware mm -hmm. of who I am. Yes. So I lack self-awareness and because I don't know who I am, mm -hmm. I become limited in loving myself because mm -hmm. you can only love yourself to the extent you know yourself. Absolutely. You can only love God to the extent you love God, and you can only love other people to the extent you love them. Mm -hmm. So right. self-awareness, self-discovery of who you are, mm -hmm. who God has created you to be, is very critical. So that you know what is your spiritual heritage, yes. what is your social heritage, what is your biological heritage, mm -hmm. what is that that is in you, that is inborn. That's number one, yes. self-awareness, mm -hmm. and we talked about that. Number two, self-acceptance, mm -hmm. that unless you accept who God created you to be, you'll not be able to love yourself. Yes. Yeah, if you, it's like not accepting a job. You know, you can be employed and you don't accept a job. Mm -hmm. You struggle, yes. you endure. Yeah. Until we learn to accept ourselves, we will not be able to care for ourselves well or to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. Self-acceptance is very, very, very important. Yes. And before we are accepted by other people, it should start with our own self-acceptance. Okay. Many times we want to be accepted by other people so that we can accept ourselves. Mm -hmm. It should be the other way around. Yes. It should start with, can you first of all accept yourself? Do you know what? Mm -hmm. When people realize that you have accepted yourself, yes. you influence them to accept you yeah because we teach people how to treat us yes if we reject ourselves we teach them to reject ourselves it's normally start with ourselves mm -hmm. we teach people how to treat us okay so it should always start with us when we have loved ourselves we teach them to love ourselves yes thirdly we talked about self-affirmation mm -hmm. that we should be the first people the first person mm -hmm. to affirm ourselves okay 
Wow. To tell, to compliment ourselves, mm -hmm. to, to, to praise ourselves. Yes. Uh, and we said for this to happen, uh, you need to see yourself through the lens of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because many times when you see yourself through the lens of the world, yes. through the standards of this world, yeah. most likely you fall short. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you should see yourself through the lens of God. You should have the mindset of God All so right. that you can see what God sees in you. Mm -hmm. Because essentially, as we said in the other episode, yes. that we are what God says we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have what God says we have, yeah. and we can do that what God says we can. Mm -hmm. So we are not limited by what the world, how the world judges us, wow. or by the standards of mm -hmm. this world. Yeah. All right, great. This is uh, Dr. E, uh, James Carrao helping us with the conversation on self-love tonight. So if you've got any question, any comments, any feedback, you can share with us. The number scrolling down at the screen, you know, across our digital platforms at Hope TV Kenya, at Hope FM Live. And of course, we'll be glad to engage with you. All right, Dr. Ray. Yes, favorite friend. You've talked of self-awareness, yeah. self-acceptance, mm. self-affirmation. Mm. And now there is the fourth one. Yeah, and the fourth one actually builds on the first three. Okay. That you are self-aware, mm -hmm. that you you accept yourself and you affirm yourself. The, 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 that comes automatically. All right. Self-advancement. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the book of Luke 2, 52, yes. that Christ grew in four areas mm -hmm. he grew in structure yes in wisdom in and in favor with god and man, and man. Mm -hmm. those analyze the four critical areas yes. that if we loved ourselves mm -hmm. in the process of cultivating self-love yes. we should grow and uh, the four areas mm -hmm. that we grow in structure mm -hmm. that is physical growth yes. mm -hmm. that we grow in wisdom that is intellectual growth okay that we grow in favor with God, that's spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. That we grow in favor with men, and that is spiritual growth. All right. Let me look at this. Let me talk about these areas briefly. Yes. I'll start with the easiest, mm -hmm. the physical growth. Stature. The stretcher. Mm -hmm. uh, that if you really want to cultivate self-love, mm -hmm. take care of your physical body. Okay. That, that, someone said that cleanness is second to godliness. Mm -hmm. take, it, it starts with how you Take care of your body. Mm -hmm. Basic hygiene standards. Yes. That groom yourself nicely. You don't have to groom yourself expensively mm -hmm. to be smart. Yeah. You can tell someone who loves himself mm -hmm. by the way he grooms. The appealing. Uh, yeah, the cleanness, the mm -hmm. tons of cleanness. Yes. If you have an kept hair, mm -hmm. if you are you're wearing dirty clothes, yes. if you don't take a bath, mm -hmm. you, you are smelly, yes. certainly you're not loving yourself. Yeah. So part of self-care, part of self-love mm -hmm. is how you take care of your physical growth. Yes. And we'll be talking about that later on. We have people who say that, um, look at my heart, mm. my physical uh, outward appearance is not an issue. It's not an issue. So uh, you mean they lack the self-care? Uh, and you know, it's not just... Just, just, it's not just taking care of your body as such. Mm -hmm. It's even, prevention is better than cure. Okay. Making sure that you're not prone to infections. Yes. So hygiene is not just physical. Yeah. It, it goes on beyond that, just cleaning yourself and grooming well. Mm -hmm. It goes beyond that and it, it means you are even taking care of protecting yourself yes. from possible infections. Yeah. So that you don't just go eating anyhow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't just go just living recklessly. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important okay. that you take care of the physical body, yes. that you take care of the physical fitness mm -hmm. to start with. Yes. That is very, very important. So remember, that's also to do with exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that I said, we, we saw in our earlier discussion mm -hmm. at the beginning that a man is a spirit yes. that has a soul that lives in a body. Okay. That we inhabit, as long as you are alive, we inhabit in this body. The this is a tent. tent. Uh -huh. This is a home. If you don't care of that home, mm -hmm. if the home starts leaking, yes. if the home crashes, you're gone. You have a problem. You're gone. Mm -hmm. So part of the care is taking care of your health. Okay. The okay. physical health. Mm -hmm. And not just the physical health, the mental health. Yes. The psychological health, mm -hmm. the emotional health, mm -hmm. the mental health. So it should be holistically. The, 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 the WHO defines that yes. there's no, says that there's no health without mental health. Mm -hmm. That yeah. health is holistic. No health it's without mental health. mental health. So it is both mental, yes. emotional, social, yes. and I would add even spiritual. Yes. So you need to take care of that. Okay. Secondly, he talked about, look, 252, Jesus gave us a model of yes. how he grew. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how you cultivate self-love, yes. self-care. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he grew in wisdom. 
the, the Bible says, let him who wants wisdom mm -hmm. ask from above yeah. to get wisdom. Yes. There's a difference between wisdom and education. Mm -hmm. Wisdom does not mean that you must be educated. Yes. In fact, there are many people who go to school and they become miseducated mm -hmm. instead of being educated. Yes. Wisdom is about knowing the truth in accordance with the word of God okay. and applying it. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, yes. verse 2, mm -hmm. that a house is built by wisdom mm -hmm. and with understanding it is established yes. and with knowledge it is filled with rare and precious treasures. Wow. Wisdom, understanding and knowledge, knowledge. are very critical. Okay. That's, we need to seek wisdom. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom yes. or the beginning of knowledge. That's mm -hmm. where it begins. Yeah. That for us to be wise, mm -hmm. have that kind of wisdom, it begins with fear for the Lord. Okay. And there's nothing as powerful mm -hmm. as wisdom. The Bible says that wisdom is stronger than weapons of war. Wow. Wisdom is stronger than, than atomic bomb, mm -hmm. I would say. Okay. In fact, the Bible says, was it in the book of Ecclesiastes or Proverbs, mm -hmm. where there was this man who was wise but poor, mm -hmm. and they lived, they, they, they lived that there was a city, a small city, that was attacked by a king. Mm -hmm. And this poor wise man saved the city by his wisdom. Okay. Okay. So you can't be poor but wise. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is greater than yes. Than, than weapons of war. Mm. And so we should all endeavor to acquire wisdom from God. And the fear of God mm -hmm. is the beginning of, of wisdom. wisdom. Mm -hmm. So we grew in wisdom. Yes. And we can access that wisdom by just fearing God, yeah. by first of all turning our lives to God mm -hmm. so that God can walk with us. Yes. You know, at one point in time, people were, were marveled at how the disciples were talking. Mm -hmm. They were talking in tongues and they were talking in different languages yes. that people could understand. Yeah. And people wondered, these are unschooled men. Mm -hmm. How come how comes? they're doing great things? Mm -hmm. They're talking in different tongues. Yes. But they took note of, as the Bible records, mm -hmm. that they had been with Jesus. Having been with Jesus. If you walk with it's a Jesus, game changer. Mm -hmm. it's a game changer. Wow. Wisdom will be your portion. Wow. If you walk with wise people, mm -hmm. you grow wise. Amen. But if you walk with foolish, yes. you actually not only become foolish, mm -hmm. but you suffer harm. Okay. So, so that's something we can access. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says he grew in favor with God. Yeah. That's spiritual growth. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's spiritual development. Yeah. That we need to grow spiritually. Uh, spiritual growth mm -hmm. starts with giving your life to Christ, mm -hmm. believing in the Lord, yes. and, and, and walking with God. Okay. So th th that is, we go through what you call spiritual transformation. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says in the book of Daniel, is it 9 or 11, 32, mm -hmm. part B, the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. exploits. Mm -hmm. So if you know your God, you'll be strong and to exploit Amen. and that's part of self-love and self-care and lastly he grew in favor with men with men we should seek to grow socially yes we should seek to connect with people mm -hmm. you know god's blessings yes come to man through man through man yeah that the way god gives us his blessings mm -hmm. is through other people mm -hmm. and that's why the bible says as far as it depends on you Live Neither. at peace with all men, mm -hmm. even your haters, yes. even your enemies. Mm. Love your enemy, the Bible says. Yeah. We need to grow spiritually, to, to, to grow socially. Yes. We need to know how to relate with people. Mm -hmm. That is part of self-care because much of the stress that people have come from poor interpersonal relationships. There is someone who said that um, your network amounts to your net worth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, elsewhere we say, mm -hmm. what to marry. Yes that your network determines your net worth. Wow. In fact, Sig Sigra says something proper that I have said before, mm -hmm. that you can get what you want in life. Yes. If you help enough people get what, they, what want. they want. God's blessings come to us through other people. Wow. It took Samuel to anoint King David. Mm -hmm. It takes God, people mm -hmm. to appoint and to elect leaders. Sure. God uses people mm -hmm. to, and therefore the way to access God's blessing yes. is by serving people. And, and the way to connect with people mm -hmm. is to love people. 
wow. is to serve people. Mm -hmm. Christ demonstrated that when he washed the disciples' feet. And he said, mm -hmm. you call me master and rightly so. Yes. This I have done to you. Do it unto other people. Mm -hmm. The way to connect with people is one, to love them. Yes. Love people. Mm -hmm. Have a big heart for people. And there's a lot we shall later on in this program, mm -hmm. we shall talk about how to love people because yes. you have to speak their love language. Yeah. Today we are focusing on self-love. Mm -hmm. Serve people. Yes. First of all, you love people mm -hmm. and then you serve people. Serve them. So that you can connect with people. People, uh, you can find favor with people. With favor with, with people. Someone mm -hmm. say that mm -hmm. people don't care how much you know. Yes. Until they know how much. Until they know how much you care for them. They don't care about how much you know. Yeah. But until how much they, you care. Uh, until they know how much you care. Wow. For them, mm -hmm. love is such a powerful thing mm -hmm. that connect us to other people. Wow. And the way to love ourselves mm -hmm. is to love other people. Wow. When you love other people, you actually love yourself. Actually, part of loving yourself is loving other people. Wow. Because that social connection mm -hmm. is very, very critical. And we, we cannot do away with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is important that yes. God created us essentially to serve him by serving other people. So there are four levels mm -hmm. of self-advancement. Yes. The first one we said, physical development mm -hmm. or yeah. physical growth. Yes. That he grew in. Structure. Structure, yeah. Then secondly, we are talking about wisdom. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. He grew in wisdom. That you need to grow in wisdom. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, he grew in favor with, with God. God. Mm -hmm. So that is spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. And lastly, social growth. Yes. But I also want to say the wisdom we can call it intellectual growth. Mm -hmm. That you have to grow intellectually. Uh -huh. And that's that's wisdom. Right. So that advancement mm -hmm. is very, very important. Instead of just staying there, you're doing nothing. Mm -hmm made about your personal growth and development. Wow. That's what you're calling self-advancement. Just uh, if you love yourself, yes. please, you want to grow, you want to, to advance. Grow. You want to advance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to advance. And you know, someone said mm -hmm. that you are a pleasant that God gave you. You are a pleasant. You, you yourself, I'm a is, a pleasant, is a pleasant, is a gift to the world. Mm -hmm. Wow. What you do with that pleasant it's up to is you. your gift to God. Is wow. your presence to God. Mm -hmm. That you as flank, yes. God has given us as mm -hmm. a present, as a gift to this world. Mm -hmm. The best way to worship God, yes. to appreciate God, mm -hmm. is by using what God has given you yes. to serve other people, to serve God through serving other people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, and that calls for that. So we have tackled the four critical areas yes. of cultivating self-love, yeah, self self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And we say all these things are continuous. Mm -hmm. It's a continuum. You don't reach them saying, I am done. It's I have reached the pinnacle. It's progressive. It's progressive. All right. We are still discovering ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about self-acceptance, yes. self-affirmation, and finally, self-advancement. Self yeah. If you missed those uh, epi uh, on our previous episode, you can visit our YouTube channel that is at Hope TV Kenya and you'll find that episode right there. All right, Dr. Ari, there is um, somebody who could be asking themselves, what are the foundations of self-love? Yeah. Like, where, how can our self-love be founded? Th that's very critical. Mm -hmm. You know, life is about perspective. Yes. Life is about the way you see it. Life is about your attitudes. Mm -hmm. And there are three critical I would say essentials yes. or three things that are very critical in laying for the foundation mm -hmm. for, for, for what you are talking about. Okay. And the first one is mindset, uh, the race, running your race, mm -hmm. and lastly, righteousness. And let me explain them all. Yes. The Bible says that let this mind that was in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. be in you. Yes. That we want to cultivate the mindset of Christ. Mm -hmm. Unless you have the mindset of Christ, yes. those four things that we have talked about, mm -hmm. those four ways of cultivating self-love yes. will be very hard. Okay. Will be very, outside Christ will be very hard mm -hmm. because it takes the mindset to see things and go, as God sees it. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not as the world sees it. Mm -hmm. Not as we see it in our in our in, in our thinking. Yes. So we That's, need to align our mindset exactly mm -hmm. with Christ's mindset. Okay. So that we can see things as God sees them. Mm -hmm. For us to be able to accept, even after gaining the self awareness. Yes. I said at the beginning mm -hmm. in the previous show that you can discover who you are, and depending on how through which lens you see it, mm -hmm. you reject yourself. You yes. hate yourself, mm -hmm. or you accept yourself, yeah. or you live in self-denial. Mm -hmm. So it takes you to have the mindset of God yes. 
to accept yourself, to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Because what happens when you find yourself falling short of the worldly standards? Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. This lady who feels like her shape does not conform mm -hmm. to the worldly standard yes. of beauty. Yeah. And the many who are in that space, yes. they look at themselves, they're like, ah, I'm falling short in this part. I would have done better if I had this. Or even their skin color. Large. Even skin color, the mm -hmm. compression. Yes. They feel like they should have been maybe lighter or darker. Mm -hmm. There are many things. Yes. Because that's how the world defined beauty. Mm -hmm. But how does God define beauty in the book of First Peter, yes. chapter 3, verse, mm -hmm. I think verse 11? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, let your beauty not come from outward adornment. Mm -hmm. Like wearing fine clothing. Yes. Jewelry and adorning nice hairstyle. Mm -hmm. But let it be the gentle, quiet spirit for which the ancient women were committed for. You mm -hmm. see, yes. God is defining, mm -hmm. is seeing the beauty through the spirit in you. Yeah. Yet the world is standard. Mm -hmm. The world sees beauty through what is seen, mm -hmm. through what is temporal. Outward. Uh, outward. The, yes. the body morphology, yes. the curves. And yet we know those things are aging. Yeah. They are very temporal. They, they can't last. They can't last. Mm -hmm. The world defines a great man as someone who has Riches. No matter, no matter, no wonder how he has acquired those riches. Yes, yeah. Yet that is not godly standard mm -hmm. of accomplishment. Yes. Remember, I said in the previous show, there's what you call a primary greatness yes. and secondary greatness. Mm -hmm. Primary greatness is the bedrock of yeah. true greatness. Yes, is the overflow. It's the one that gives overflow mm -hmm. to any other greatness. Yes, and private primary greatness emanates from within. Mm -hmm what is happening in our private world yes that that's very very critical mm -hmm. that is now seeing through the mindset of christ mm -hmm. having the attitude of christ yes that is critical mm -hmm. foundation for you to love yourself mindset mindset mm -hmm. that you should have christ mindset if you don't have christ mindset yes it will be a tall order mm -hmm. to love yourself all right you know what mm -hmm. unless you have that mind in jesus of jesus christ you not see things in the right perspective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see things in the wrong perspective. Yes. And you fall short of self-care. Mm -hmm. Number two, yes. as a foundation of self-care or mm -hmm. self-love, yes. is running your race. Your race. Yeah. Paul says in one of his epistles, mm -hmm. I have run the race mm -hmm. with a naughty good thing. Not just any other race. Yes. I have fought the fight. Mm -hmm. I have kept a good fight. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. All of us have been called to different races. Okay. Stick to your lane. Stick, stick to, to your, your lane. Stick to your race. Mm -hmm. Run your race. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to copy someone, yes. you fall short. You should change yourself. Mm -hmm. And we need to appreciate that. That when God called each and every one of us, he called us for a purpose and he called us to a particular race. Mm -hmm. That's why even in athletics, yes. we have different races. And people are gifted in different races. Mm -hmm. There are those who have been called for 100 meters. Yes. That's their race. Yeah. Just a sprint. And the race was over. Yes. Within seconds. Yeah. Others, it's for marathon. 1,500, yeah. mm -hmm. 10,000. Yes. Cross country or marathon. So which is your race? Run your race. Mm -hmm. And don't imitate. it. Don't try to live someone else's so life. So shine your shine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just just be yourself and be the best version of yourself. You know, the challenge with self-love and mm -hmm. self-care yes. is, 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 is unhealthy comparison. Mm -hmm. That right. we compare ourselves a lot with other people. Yes. And when I see someone who seems to have accomplished more than myself mm -hmm. in my own thinking, yes. I feel jealous and envious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I knew, first of all, God has created us differently yes set us on different places mm -hmm. uh, have you ever seen the way people compete on the road unconsciously yes. or consciously mm -hmm. you drive past this person you feel like ah, i need to overtake you. yes you drive and drive then when you reach somewhere mm -hmm. the person just turns to another direction mm -hmm. and you're like oh my goodness <laughs> yeah, i was competing I'm with someone and we are going to different places yes why did i even have to there are some women who have a sticker overtaking me with rest. exactly exactly say it again overtaking me with rest yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's a rat race. Uh -huh. it's, it's a rat race. Mm -hmm. Running someone else's races. Yes. And if there is any great hindrance mm -hmm. to self love, yes. it's yes. running other people's races. All right. Living other people's lives mm -hmm. and not being true to yourself. I, I refer to a song that yes. there are races, that there's a race that I must run. I must run. There are victories to be won mm -hmm. and give me power every hour to be true. Not to a race self. we must run, not we. It is I yeah, must run. I, I must. Wow. What is your least in life? Mm. Undoubtedly, mm -hmm. it's about righteousness. Righteousness. I think Dr. will just hold it right there mm. so that we, may, we take a very short commercial break. When we come back, we'll be talking about 
the third part of it, a uh, third foundation that is righteousness. So stay with us. This is the Overflow Show on Hope TV where you look and live and on Hope FM where you listen and live. Don't go away. Stay with us. To die is very key. Is it something most of us want, uh, will overlook? We don't even care. Yeah. That, in fact, nutritionists may say mm -hmm. that you're as good as your diet. Okay. You're as good as what you feel. <laughs> what do you watch on the internet? Yes. In the privacy of your room, mm. in the hostel, yes. or in your house. What I when you watch. tune in, when you turn on the computer, when you browse the internet, yes. which sites do you visit? What are you feeding, what are you feeding your mind with? Yes. We say in computer, garbage in, garbage out. Out, out of the overflow, out of the abundance of the heart, we have an overflow. I've actually been trying to find a balance. Um, it's been really tough and hectic, but everyone says once you get a hang of it, it comes, becomes better. And I don't know, but I'm hoping to find a balance soon because it's really been hectic. But you've been in the job industry for a long time, so I think you would know better. Single. Uh huh? What time is it? Ah, uh, I need to catch up on Leadership Forum. Did they have a radio here? Uh, ah, never mind. I brought my own. <gasps> no way. You can't be serious. Wait, why do you have a radio and you can just catch up with the shows on Hope FM podcast? Really? Even Meet of the World? Yeah. I mean, you can find them on whatever platform. Name it. AfriPods, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, um, Spotify. You name it. But I'm not subscribed on any of them. <laughs> So no worries. You can just check out the latest episodes on hopemediakenya.org. You can now listen to select Hope FM programs on your favorite podcast streaming platform or directly on our website, www.hopemediakenya.org. Listen and live. Seeking soul is the promise of a hand that reaches and goes beyond what angers are to my enemy. Friends of Hope, keeping hope alive. To die is very key. Is it something most of us want, uh, will overlook? We don't even care. Yeah. That, in fact, nutritionists may say mm -hmm. that you're as good as your diet. Okay. You're as good as what you feed. <laughs> what do you watch on the internet? Yes. In the privacy of your room, mm -hmm. In the hostel yes. or in your house. You when you watch? tune in, when you turn on the computer, when you browse the internet, yes. which sites do you visit? What are you 
What are you feeding your mind with? We say in computer, garbage in, garbage out. Out of the overflow, out of the abundance of the heart, we have an overflow. Welcome once again to the Overflow Show after the short break. This is Hope TV where you look and live and Hope FM where you listen and live. And of course, feel free to share with us your questions, your thoughts and comments on the number scrolling down at the screen. And of course, across our digital platforms at Hope TV Kenya at Hope FM Live. My name is Favored Frank. And uh, we continue with our conversation that we just started. Uh, Dr. we are talking about the foundations of um, self-love. Yeah. You had mentioned um, yeah, mindset, mindset, rest, yeah. and then um, you had talked of righteousness. Righteousness. Would you want to talk about this? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's as a foundation for self-love, there ought to be those three things. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the mindset of Christ. Yes. That you must see yourself, you must see life, you must see circumstances of your life as yes. Christ would see it, mm -hmm. as God will see it. Sure. Anything short of that, you're not able to love yourself mm -hmm. properly. Yes. Secondly, that you must run your space, mm -hmm. you, I mean your race. Mm -hmm. That you must appreciate that you're fearfully and wonderfully made, and therefore you can only learn your race. Mm -hmm. You can only be yourself and yes. be the best version of mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. and that's how you can be able to love yourself. Okay. You cannot love yourself when you're imitating someone else, yes. or when you're running someone else's race. race, or mm -hmm. when you're when you're not serving your purpose. Mm -hmm. You must serve your purpose. Okay. And lastly, righteousness. Yes. I must admit that we cannot love ourselves on our own. Mm -hmm. You cannot even be able to love other people yes. on our own. Okay. That it takes the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It takes God through the Holy Spirit. Yes. To be able to love God, to love ourselves mm -hmm. and love other people. All right. Frank, you know mm -hmm. that if you want, if you want, if if you if, if someone has to fall in love with you, mm -hmm. that person must first of all accept your love. Yeah, accept moment, my love. Eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. the moment your wife accepted you to start loving her, mm -hmm. she started maybe falling in love with you. That's yes. that's that's the way love yeah. love goes. Sure. Actually, we talk about a mekweka box. Mm -hmm. Maybe box aji wakati umemuarau. Yes. Maybe to buy you the first. Uh, Cheap. <laughs> Cheap. A gift or a gift, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Th that's how love begins. Yes. That once you arouse someone mm -hmm. to love you, yes. the love of him mm -hmm. start getting into you. Yeah. Or her. And you now reciprocate. That unless we allow God's love mm -hmm. in our lives, yes. then you'll not be able to love God. Okay. And you'll not be able to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you'll not be able to love other people. Yes. When I started this topic of self-love, mm -hmm. I began by saying, love is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes. According to Galatians 5.22, mm -hmm. that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, yeah. peace, and all the others. Yeah. That we can only love meaningfully mm -hmm. and truthfully yes. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. On our own, we, cannot. we can't really love ourselves. Mm -hmm. It takes God. And the way to love ourselves is, first of all, allow God loves allow God's love in our lives, mm -hmm. allow God to love us. Yes. Because he has, he, God loves us. He For does. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. And the way to allow God's love in our lives, mm -hmm. the way to accept God's love, yes. is to accept his only begotten son, mm -hmm. whom he sent, whom he gave us, that you may not perish. It wow. is start with accepting Christ as the Lord of mm -hmm. your life. It starts by accepting the gift of God, which is in his son. Yeah. In the moment Jesus I started himself. giving mm -hmm. gift, my wife gift, he declined. Yes. She declined. Uh -huh. That would have blocked. That's that's the end. But of the it. moment he started accepting my gift, my invitations, mm -hmm. it started. Yeah. Feeling started. Yeah. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. The moment I accept God's gift mm -hmm. of his only begotten son. Yes. Then he ravishes his love on me mm -hmm. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I am able to love him back. Yeah. You I'm able to love myself mm -hmm. and to love other because people. Because you find the definition of love, yeah. how God loves. Yeah, how God loves. Mm -hmm. We have been created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And the only way to love is to love through God's way. Okay. Christ said in John 13, 34, mm -hmm. a new command I gave unto you. Yes. Love one another. 
just as I have loved you, mm -hmm. love one another. Mm -hmm. And people you know that you are my disciples yes. if you love one another. All right. Mm -hmm. So what is he saying? Just the way I have loved you. Yes. Love one, love another. one another. So the way even to love ourselves mm -hmm. and to love one another yes. is to love the way Christ loves us. Wow. And Christ sacrificed himself on the cross mm -hmm. because he loved us. Yes. So we must first of all embrace that gift of salvation mm -hmm. so that we can be able to, to, to love ourselves, yes. to love God, and to love other people. Absolutely. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that we can actually say, we are able to have self-love. Wow. We are able to come. And that's where righteousness comes in. Mm -hmm. Righteousness is about believing in Jesus Christ as yes. the Lord of your life. Uh -huh. Believing it and walking by faith. Yes. Trusting and obeying him. Mm -hmm. That's about righteousness. Wow. That you can't love yourself if you're not righteous. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ yes. as the Lord of your life. If you don't accept him. Mm -hmm. That we can't love one another if we don't have Christ in us. If we don't have the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because love. Genuine love is a gift, is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Wow. It is by empowerment of the Holy Spirit that, that it... we can truly love ourselves mm -hmm. and love one another. Wow. That's... It's as, as simple as that. Mm -hmm. That it takes us embracing the love of God, yes. allowing God to love us, mm -hmm. that we may be able to love Him back and love ourselves. Wow. Actually, true love begins by allowing God mm -hmm. to love us by embracing his gift of love mm -hmm. and loving him back so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. we can be able to love ourselves and love other people. Wow. That righteousness, that accepting Christ as the Lord of your life, mm -hmm. believing in him yes. and walking with him mm -hmm. even in this journey of love. Great. That came out with so much precision. And uh, Dr. Ari, uh, talking about um, these uh, pillars of um, Self-love. Self -love. Would you want to talk about maybe the essentials now? Yeah, these are the essentials of self-love. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll put it in a very simplified way. Yes. Using perhaps a knowledge that you know. Mm -hmm. There are three things. Mm -hmm. I will still go back to who we are essentially, our identity. Yes. That we are a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Okay. And the way to love ourselves meaningfully mm -hmm. is to take care of those three things yes. because that is who we are essentially sure the body that is what we see mm -hmm. the, the organs yes the tent mm -hmm. in which we inhabit yeah the soul that is the interface between the spirit and the body mm -hmm. that has to do with the mind and the heart yes that has to do with the emotions mm -hmm. free will the, the thoughts mm -hmm. and the spirit the yes. breath of life the breath of god yes. we have to take those three things mm -hmm. and i'm going to start uh, Science, mm -hmm. medical science, yes. teaches us that if you want to take care of your body, mm -hmm. if you want to prevent your body getting infected with diseases, yes, because 90, almost 99.9 .9 of diseases can be prevented. Mm -hmm. There are three things that are very, very important. Yes. Even to live a healthy life. Yeah. Three things mm -hmm. that you know. Mm -hmm. Number one, take care of your diet. Diet. Diet is very key. Is it something most of us want uh, overlook? We don't even care. Yeah. That, in fact, nutritionists may say mm -hmm. that you're as good as your diet. Okay. You're as good as what you feed. <laughs> is it? So what I eat is what you are. <laughs> okay. Number two, uh -huh. exercises. Yes. The body needs exercises. Mm -hmm. We are being told some of the non-communicable diseases are now as a result of the lifestyle, mm -hmm. the sedentary lifestyle. Yes. That many of the jobs we are doing today, yes. we are doing seated, especially uh -huh. the office jobs. Yeah. We are seated. Yeah. We are not exercising enough. Mm -hmm. And lastly, rest. 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 Even God rested. Mm -hmm. Sabbath rest. We need to practice Sabbath rest. Mm -hmm. So there are three things that are very, very important. Yes. Take care of the spirit, yeah. the soul, and the body. Yeah. And that is the diet. That is the, the exercise exercises and the rest. Let's look at rest. let's break them into let's just look unpack each and every one of us yes. of them. Let me start with the diet. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure what comes to your mind is a physical diet, the yeah. one that feeds the body. Yeah, sure. And you are taught by your is it home science teacher who taught you that you must take balanced diet? That's a uh, home science that is. Yeah. Mm. And what does balanced diet comprise of? Mm -hmm. They must have what? Uh, proteins. Uh, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins. And vitamins. Yeah. So that you don't become malnourished. Yes. And you must take them in the right proportions. Yeah. So that you are actually healthy. You'll be surprised mm -hmm. how many diseases can be controlled through diet. Mm -hmm. Did you notice 
that during corona, yes. the visit to the hospitals were very minimal. Did you notice? Mm -hmm. For other diseases apart from corona. Yes. That people were not getting sick. Mm -hmm. Why? They were eating from home. Yeah. Uh -huh. And home cooked food. You are careful. It's more nutritious yes. yeah. than the hotel food, most likely. Yes. So meaning you can prevent many infections. If you work on your diet. If you work on your diet. Okay. Make it balanced. Make it nutritious. You know young people, because they are young, mm -hmm. they can take junk food. What yes. do they know? Sooner or later, to catch up nature, with them. To catch up with them. Nature, you had them a, a bill. Mm -hmm. That you have been taking all these. Now, yes. cholesterol has come Pay. in. By the time you are hitting 30, 40, yes. now you have issues of cholesterol. They are not beginning now. It has been accumulation. Began. Yeah. So be very careful what you take. Mm -hmm. We also have what we call spiritual food. Yes. To take care of the spirit. Okay. That you need to take the right diet, spiritually, mm -hmm. spiritual yes. food, uh -huh. not just the physical food. Yes. You know, sometimes you are so much focused on the physical diet. Yeah, for your food, you want we to... Are more, more f so, so much focused on making sure the tent we inhabit yes. is, is uh -huh. taken care of. To grow the muscles and to all. The mu that's not enough. Mm -hmm. To go to the gym. Yes. You also need to go to spiritual gym. Uh -huh. Okay. You also need to take the light spiritual diet. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, man cannot live by bread alone. Mm -hmm. That's a physical diet. Yes. But from, by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Wow. Our spiritual diet is the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you should take it in the right content, in the right proportions. Yes. In terms of quantity mm -hmm. and quality. Okay. How can a young man remain pure? Mm -hmm. I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 119 mm -hmm. that your word is a lamp, lamp unto my, my feet. feet. Mm -hmm. And a right light for my path. Light unto my path. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Heaven and earth, you pass away, but the word of God, you remain forever. Wow. Amen. We need to get soaked in the word of God. Mm -hmm. We need to be full of the word. Yes. We need to be feeding on the word daily. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up, take a dose of the word of God as yes. part of your spiritual breakfast. Mm -hmm. In lunch, During lunchtime, take another dose of the word of God, both the spoken and the written word of God. Yes. In the evening, mm -hmm. take a dose. We need to be taking regular doses of the spiritual word. So the question should be, what do you feed on? Yeah? The word of God. What is somebody feeding on? Because many yeah. times we are on the internet, we are feeding on some exactly. other stuff. Exactly. Some v funny videos, some yeah. funny articles. In fact, let me come there. Mm -hmm. We have talked about the physical yes. diet yeah. for the physical body. Mm -hmm. We have talked about the spiritual diet for the spirit. Let me talk about the diet for the soul. Yes. The mind mm -hmm. and the heart. Mm -hmm is what are you feeding your mind with? Yes. Because the, when, what you feed your mind with determines what you feel. Mm -hmm. And we feed our mind through three main things. Actually, yes. there can be four. Okay. What we watch. Okay. What are the pictures of your life? What okay. do you watch on the internet? Yes. In the privacy of your room, mm. in the hostel, yes. or in your house, what are you when watching? you tune in, when you turn on the computer, mm -hmm. when you browse, the internet. Yes. Which site do you visit? What are you feeding? What are you uh, feeding mm -hmm. your mind with? Mm -hmm. We say in computer, garbage in, garbage, garbage out. out. Out of the overflow, out of the, the abundance, abundance of the heart, heart, we have an overflow. Yes. So it depends on what you're feeding your mind with. Mm -hmm. So what we watch. Secondly, what you're listening to. Mm -hmm. The first one was what we watch. That yes. has to do with the pictures of your life. Yes. The second one, has to do with what you read, what you listen to. What are you hearing? What, what are you hearing? Mm. What are you the sounds of your life? Yes. What are you listening to? Because sounds sounds words sounds are powerful. Just like what you watch, pictures are very powerful, mm -hmm. but sounds are also powerful. Yes. Whatever you are allowed to speak into your life, mm -hmm. you have an influence. You either cause you you either I defy you mm -hmm. or destroy you. Okay. There are things you listen to and you love yourself more. Mm -hmm. You believe in yourself. Yes. You get inspired. You believe you 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 are like wow, I can make it also. Yes. But there are things we can listen to that they you bring, bring us, us down. down mm -hmm. That you cause us to doubt ourselves. Okay. That you cause us to lose our our confidence. Mm -hmm. The question is, what are you listening to? What kind of music, for example, are you mm -hmm. listening to? Yes. You know, there are people who say, uh, why can't I listen to secular music yes. or any other music? Mm -hmm. I will not do what they are doing. Yes, but words, I just listen words for fun. Powerful. Words are powerful. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. Uh, there is a sense in which if you keep on hearing something again and again, yes, it starts getting like into part of you practical and, and it becomes practical. Practicality, yeah? Yeah, if mm -hmm. you keep on hearing. In fact, that's why when a lie is told 
so many times, yes. it becomes like a truth. You know, they, you, know you can normalize <laughs> uh, yeah. lies to appear like they are the truth yes. when it is repeated again and again. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very important to select the kind of things you are listening to, mm -hmm. not just music. Are they edifying? Yes. Or they're destroying you. And actually, talking about uh, listening to music and all that, mm. is it also um, what I'm listening to and who? Yeah, that's Could, a good one. I like yes. that. Uh -huh. You know, there are, there are three major ways we communicate. Okay. One is through words, spoken words. Yes. What they are saying. Mm -hmm. The other one is spiritually. Okay. That when I listen to you, there's a sense in which you are speaking to me spiritually mm -hmm. without even saying words. Yes. Such that if you have the wrong spirits and I allow you to speak to me. It's impartation. There's an impartation. Mm -hmm. That's why don't just listen to any music sung by anybody. Mm -hmm. The spirits behind The everything. spirit. We communicate spiritually. Mm -hmm. Just as we communicate verbally through yes. words. Mm -hmm. We communicate spiritually. Have you ever noted that you can be with someone? And before he has said anything or she has said something, yes. you, are, you are getting signals. Yeah. Either positive or negative mm -hmm. signals. There's something you are feeling. The atmosphere that you is can't changing. Put, yeah, mm -hmm. the atmosphere, exactly. Atmosphere mm -hmm. is changing. Mm -hmm. And many times we are that. Yeah. The things we listen to is not just through those words. Yes. But there's also spiritual communication. There's mm -hmm. also spiritual impartation. Yes. And that's why when people start arguing, can I listen to secular song? Mm -hmm. The issue is who is singing? Yeah. Because you can even have a gospel song that yes. is being sung yeah. by someone with the wrong spirit. But the wrong person. The yeah. wrong person. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not just a message, that the messenger also matters a lot. Yeah. What kind of anointing? Yes. What kind of a spirit? What's the inspiration? Yeah. Uh, have you ever noted that mm -hmm. the, uh, two people can say the same thing? Yes. But the impact is different. Absolutely. It's because of who is saying it. Yeah. What kind of anointing? When Christ was stating out. his mm -hmm. mission, he said, yes. the spirit of the Lord is upon me mm -hmm. because he has anointed me yes. to preach the good news to the poor. Yeah. Whoever is singing is the spirit of the Lord upon her. Wow. Is the spirit of the Lord upon him. That's so deep. Yeah, because if the spirit of the Lord is not upon that person, mm -hmm. I can guarantee you yes. there is a spiritual impartation. You are a partaker of what they carry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We don't just communicate verbally. Yes. We also communicate through spirits. Mm -hmm. through discernment, yes. through impartation, through anointing. Mm -hmm. That's why you can be in the presence of something, but you feel the anointing. Yes. And the anointing could be either good anointing or a bad yeah. anointing. Yeah. There, is, there are both presents, uh, I mean, godly presence, yeah. and you can be in uh, demonic presence. Yeah. So I was talking about how do we feed our mind, and mm -hmm. I say that the pictures of our life, yes. what we watch, yeah. what we look at, mm -hmm. that is very, very powerful, yes. that impacts on our lives, mm -hmm. that you make us either love ourselves mm -hmm. or hate ourselves. Yes. And I, am, I, I, I remember... There are many people who watch soaps mm -hmm. and they say, they are not, this is not broom movie, this is not pornography. Just for fun. This is just real yeah. life. Yeah. And there are soaps that reflect people badly. They have agenda. They are reflecting, for example, men as beasts. Yes. Where women are always exploited as sexual objects. Mm -hmm. And there are many ladies, after watching those soaps, yes. they don't believe in men. Yeah. In the faithfulness of men. Why? Yes. It has impacted They've in been them. corrupted. It has been corrupted. Mm -hmm. What they have been watching portray men as people who are not faithful, who mm -hmm. cannot be trusted. Yes. Or the other way around, what they watch portrays women as sex mm -hmm. objects. That yes. has an impact. Yeah. You may dismiss it as just something secular, yeah. something that is neither here nor there. In the long run, it shapes your character. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it shapes your character. Mm -hmm. And of course, now we have talked about what you listen to, yes. the music you listen to, the sounds you listen to, the sounds of your life. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, what you read. What? The literature of your life. Mm -hmm. That has an impartation because we also communicate through yes. what we read. Yeah. Be very careful what you read. Mm -hmm. Does it edify you yes. or does it bring you down? Does it promote self-love or does it actually diminish self-love? Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel inspired? There's a lot of literature today, especially mm -hmm. in the social media. Yes. There are lots of stuff that is being forwarded to, yeah. to mm -hmm. on our, on, yes, on our forwarded social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And at times we eat every garbage that comes. Yeah. You need to censor. It comes, you consume. You, ca you can't. Let me see what has been sent. Mm -hmm. I remember the, 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 someone sent something on someone else's phone. Yes. And I think there are some people who are caught mm -hmm. committing adultery. Yes. And it was very, very, very direct. Okay. And so I saw some people were just watching. And I was like, what is this I'm watching? Mm. And the moment I started watching, I realized, ah, yeah. Mm. 
this is like another pornographic. Yes. Just because some people have been caught committing these things and yes. they are they are they are high profile people. Mm -hmm. So it was it went to spiral. So you think viral. it just it went viral. It went just, viral. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I realized I can't continue watching that. Yes. You need to stop watching such garbage. Yeah. Because they impact on you. Yeah. They, they impact on you. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we write, we read is also very, very important. What mm -hmm. books are you reading? What are the books of your life? What yes. magazines do you read? Mm -hmm. You need to be very careful because they are actually feeding you. Okay. They are feeding a certain spirit. Yes. And last but not least, in terms of how we feed our mind and our heart, mm -hmm. is a company that you keep. Company. You know, you know people speak into our lives. Yes. That's why sociologists say, don't tell me who you are, just show me your friends. Mm -hmm. Because there's a way People speak into our lives. Yes. Do not be unequally yoked together with non-believers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bad company corrupt good morals. Yes. Similarly, good company make you great. Wow. Choose the right company because the people in your lives speak. The company of your life speak to your life. There is somebody who is saying that uh, this is a businessman. Mm. That if you're in a company of uh, five billionaires, mm. you are the sixth. Yeah. So it works in every other area. Be it in business. Yes. Be it in the spiritual world, uh -huh. be it in academia, be it in the social realm, mm -hmm. company. Yes. The people you hang around with yeah. determine who you become. Okay. Sooner or later. Yes. Unless you disconnect with that company, mm -hmm. they create our social habitat. Mm -hmm. You know, habitat means environment. Yeah. And do you really see the relationship between habitat and habits? Yeah, sure. That your habitat Within influences four. your habits. Sure. And therefore, be very careful about your social habitat. Mm -hmm. The people, the company that you are hanging around with, because those people speak into your life. Mm -hmm. There are some people you spend a few minutes, yes. you feel so drained, yeah. you have nothing, so tired, everything. so fatigued, yeah. you feel so drained. <laughs> and there are some few, the other people you spend some few minutes yes. and you feel so edified, edified yeah? so encouraged, so en motivated, mm -hmm. and you can't help but love yourself the more. Yes. But other people, they make you hate yourself. They drain you. Mind about the company you keep. There's somebody who say that um, birds of the same feather flock together. So, you, so show me your friend, and I show you who you are. Come so on. So we have just talked about diet. Yes. The next thing is exercises. Uh -huh. There is what we call spiritual exercises mm -hmm. for the spirit. Yes. There is what we call mental exercises for the soul, mm -hmm. and there is physical exercises for the body. Okay. Physical exercises, you know. Yes. This body requires some physical fitness. Yes. Body mass index. Ever heard of that? Yeah. That depending on your height, height and your weight, weight, there is a level beyond which you become overweight. Yes. Beyond a certain level, you become obese. Obese, yeah. Below a certain level, you become underweight. Underweight, yeah. Physical fitness is very, very important mm -hmm. for your health. Yes. And we need to exercise our bodies. It controls lifestyle, lifestyle diseases, you know. Yeah, it controls yeah. lifestyle diseases. And there are many ways to do exercises. Yes. You don't have to just enroll in the gym. Mm -hmm. You can do exercises in your house. Yes. You can just have the rope for sit skipping, yeah. sit-ups. Mm -hmm. There are many ways. Yeah. And you can even go to YouTube mm -hmm. to see, to do these things. Yeah. But physical fitness mm -hmm. is very, very important. Okay. Physical exercises mm -hmm. is very, very, very important. And at times you just have to walk some short distances. Yes. You don't have to drive. Yeah, just walk just around. Walk, uh, ju just, just walk around. Mm -hmm. You can have a bike. Yes. You, you do riding. Mm -hmm. And so, and then we have what you call spiritual exercises. Mm -hmm. That you need to practice spiritual exercises. Yes. Spiritual discipline. Mm -hmm. So that you become strong mm -hmm. spiritually. So that you cultivate self-love. So that you lay the right foundation of self-love. Can fasting help? Yeah, let's go there. Mm -hmm. What are the spiritual exercises? Yes. Number one, Bible study. Okay. Individually and corporately. All right. Get yourself into a program of studying the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Not just reading, yes. but studying the Word of God. That's why it's called Bible study. Mm -hmm. Studying the spoken and the reading. written Word of God. Okay. Uh, have that, 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 have a program. Mm -hmm. Let's not be haphazard. Yes. Come up with your own personal devotion, your own personal program, mm -hmm. and not just yours. Go to another level. Mm -hmm. Get yourself in a Bible study. Yes. There's a way God speaks to us through other people. Yeah. When you come to a Bible study, a, a small cell, mm -hmm. a cell group, a yes. safari group, yeah. God speaks to us. There's a way we identify ourselves yes. when we come into a fellowship of believers to mm -hmm. share the word of God. Mm -hmm. So Bible study is one, at individual level and at a corporate level, at a small group level. Yes. And secondly mm -hmm. is prayer and fasting. Okay. Prayer is very, very key. Yes. The Bible says... Watch and pray mm. for the, the spirit is willing, yes. but the body is weak. 
Christ yeah. was the Lord, mm -hmm. is Lord. Yes. And he went on prayer and fasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are we? If Who we have I? to love ourselves, mm. that's a spiritual discipline, yes. a spiritual exercise that we cannot negate. Mm -hmm. Prayer and fasting. You know what? Yes. Prayer is communication with God. Mm -hmm. And as you communicate with God, God communicates with you. Mm -hmm. God helps you to love yourself. Yes. And fasting is part of self-control. Mm -hmm. That if you can control eating, yes. oh my goodness, you can gain control in many other areas of life. Mm -hmm. People who may not have self-control on food yes. may also lack self-control in other areas. <laughs> fasting helps you. And by the way, fasting is all good for your health. Hey, hey. Yeah. If you just go on fast, mm -hmm. not necessarily for 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 health reasons yes i mean not necessarily for spiritual reasons mm -hmm. it improves your health research has shown that wow and then we are talking about prayer and fasting fellowship the bible says do not negate the fellowship of believers mm -hmm. it's important to come together as believers and worship mm -hmm. and ministry mm -hmm. find something to do there's a way god you grow us we ravish his love on us mm -hmm. we help us to cultivate self love yes. when we serve him in a ministry where we are witnessing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, where wow. we are spreading, where we are the good news, where we are becoming, where we are part of the Great Commission. Mm -hmm. So that, that's very important. But lastly, as yes. I conclude, mm -hmm. there is rest. We talked about three things. We have yes. already talked about diet. Mm -hmm. We have talked about what? Uh, these um, exercises. exercises. And I forgot to talk about mental exercises. Mm -hmm. That how do you exercise your mind? All right. I think our time is pretty much well spent for tonight. Mm. But we can, you've said, uh, You've left out mental exercise yeah. and then rest. We have not talked about yeah, rest. Yeah, we've not talked about and rest. And there's a lot we can talk about rest. So we want to talk about this in our next episode. So, Dr. Terry, as we come to the end of the program, you are parting short in one minute. Oh, viewers and listeners, mm -hmm. I can say that. Thank you for being with us. And I want to say this. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. It starts with the saying, the greatest commandment is love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Mm -hmm. And the second one is like this, love your neighbor as you love yourself. We must take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We must cultivate self-love because we only love to the extent we love ourselves. Wow. And we can only love ourselves to the, neck, to the extent we love God. And we can only love God to the extent we allow him to love us. Wow. That was profound and it came out with so much precision and clarity. I hope you've been blessed tonight and you've been challenged, you know, to love yourself even the way uh, as the way God love, loved you. So this night, I wish you a restful night. May God keep you. See you again next time. That's next Saturday on our next episode. What will we be talking about? We'll be continuing with the conversation of self-love, how yes. to communicate, how to cultivate self-love. Mm -hmm. We'll finish on the that essential that you have left out, mm -hmm. the metro exercises, mm -hmm. and you also be talking about the rest. Rest is very critical mm -hmm. for self-love. Mm -hmm. And then we shall also talk about the, the indicator. indicators. How do you know that I have I am actually cultivating right. self-love? How can I tell? What are the manifestations of uh -huh. self-love? All right, great. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This has been the Overflow Show. This is where you live your life in abundance. This is on Hope TV and Hope FM. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.